looking for any more big issues on this model. Oh yeah, there's uh, this little mechanism for the leg to move up and down here. Um, kind of a cam. If I want to make that, I'm going to go to my front, let me see, my right side view. First of all, uh, let's see. Excuse me. There we go. You can see there's some issues here. Let's right click and say hide unselected. There's some uh, faces here that aren't really working out. Some edges that have crossed over each other. So it really needs either to be fixed or um, redesigned. And this isn't a circle, and I'm not sure what happened. This may have been squished in when I opened it or something like that. But uh, let's just make a new one. So what I would do is start with a cylinder and um, let's get a view of this and we got a lot of height segments we only need one probably and let's see what does that thing really look like maybe two segments maybe yeah, tough call how much detail you really need. But I'm going to start with, uh, oh, this one's a little bit complicated to, to just guess at, but let me just take a shot at it. Let's do this one, and how many sides did I put on here? 18, let's take it down to like 12. And then let's do another one. In fact, we'll just copy it. And shift, whoops. Hold down shift and then press drag. And we'll see. Okay, you know, I'm, it's one thing I forgot to do is I want to set some cap segments on there. So there, I don't want cap segments there just in case. It might make it easier. And then I'm going to scale this in the plane, in the XY plane. Let's say to something like that. And then let's uh, right click it, convert it to editable poly, go to vertex sub object mode, and let's just grab these two sets of vertices with ignore back facing turned off and move them over. I'm trying to match the original design here. Or get it close. And then these two, whoops, just get those outside sets. And even if it's not perfect, it'll be close enough that you can probably get it done. Let's just scale these now. Oh, across this Y. Uh, no, it didn't work. But again, there we go. Something like that. And then you need to connect these two. So, um, we could do Oh, I see a little problem there. I think I missed a vertex when I did the last thing, so just control Z. Fix that. Right side view. Yeah, I'm just looking at this and I see a better way to do it, so I'm going to move these over until they're flat and grab all this. Delete it and uh, I bridge one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That could probably work. So I'll fix this real quick. A little bit of trial and error, that's for sure. And then back to the beginning. For those who haven't created faces before. So you're clicking five times. And let's see if we can get these to go over here. So uh, what we got to do is select this. 
attach this and turn off attach and then go to uh, bridge we'll bridge this 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 and this to you know, holding down alt key to get to the other view pressing and dragging and hold down control now whoops two three four so all those are selected and let's say segments I don't know, looking at the original, it looks pretty flat, so we don't need segments. We could always put them in, though. Let's put one in just for fun and say, okay. Now we got to fix it a little bit. Right side view. And uh, get into vertex sub-object mode. And spread these out a little bit with our scale on the Y. And... Spread these out. Actually, I'd like to line these up too. So that would be in the X, I believe. So we'll just go to Make Planar in the X. And then I'll spread those out. And it's, it's not perfect, but it's not too far off. 